It's that time again. <laughs> Is it that time again? It's that time again. Uh, November Tac Pack Plus unboxing. We brought the heat once again, a near $300 value box. Um, we're gonna go over each product that was within the box and we'll start, we'll go through the standard mm -hmm. box products first and then we'll showcase the two, count them two, big value plus box items. So yeah, let's dig in. I think we should talk about that first. Yeah, so it's a, it's a standard box item. Yes. But it's it could have been a plus box item. Could this be a plus box item. Packing a $70 value, the SOP Mod stock from JE Machine Tech, uh, USA made. The JE SOP Mod is amazing because it's got two great cheek welds, whether you're a right or left-handed shooter. And then obviously it's got the storage compartments for batteries and things that Skittles or whatever else you want to put in there. <laughs> Sop Mod stock is standard on all of our rifles, and we love it. Just no, no exception. Incredible, really good sling mount in the back. And as you all know, I'm working on my own build, the JR Build video series. Link in the <laughs> link in the description. Link here. Link there. Click the link. Um, yeah, I'm running Sop Mod. Yeah. Um, I tried a few different stocks, styles. Um, all roads in my in my mind lead to the Sop Mod. It's just the most. Yeah. It just feels right. Stan uh, yeah. It's kind of the industry standard, right? Yep. Yep. Awesome. Yeah. J Machine, great item. Nice little sticker. You know I like that. Toss that in your uh, on your workbench or lunch toolbox pail. or lunch pail or rifle case or whatever it is. But uh, really nice offering at a, a really great value from yeah. J Machine. USA made. $70 MSRP, so right away, pumping up that value. Second thing, let's talk about, actually, let's let's talk about the things from my medic real quick. Yeah. So there were two things from my medic. I'll hold one, you hold the other. We had the gauze mod and... Rats tourniquet. Rats tourniquet. Um, I'll switch for it real quick and talk about the rats tourniquet. <laughs> I don't know what to do <laughs> with my hands. Uh, rats tourniquet. Really nice unit. Uh, if you've seen me on videos before about medical stuff, I preach having a tourniquet everywhere. Got one of these in the back of my truck, in the glove box in my truck, in the junk drawer in my kitchen, in my range bag, in my ammo case. I probably have six or seven tourniquets throughout my vehicle, my home, and my shooting gear. You never know when you're gonna need it, and the RATS is easily deployable and easy to use. Um, and we think the folks at MyMedic have done a great job uh, with this product. So, Rats Tourniquet, you gotta have one. You, actually, let me, let me restate that. You need a half a dozen tourniquets yeah. in easy to access places, yep. depending on where you are and what you're doing. Yeah, arguably the, the, the most important thing to have on you is, is your firearm and be trained with it and prepared with it. And I, I argue the second most important thing is having a tourniquet and knowing how to use it. Yeah, agreed. And then the gauze mod was a nice little addition from my medic. Um, it's everything you need to wrap a wound and or, you know, apply medical help uh, in, a, in a nice small package. This is one of those, this is one of those really good replacement items. So if you've used your current gauze and bandage kit, you can throw this in your bag and replace or just add to. You can never have too much of this stuff. And this is a nice complete kit with over 10 items in it. So really compact, really easy to just toss in the bag and go, and really conveniently packaged. Really, really nice and tight, very tight, very small. Um, but yeah, my medic has a lot of great products and these two are no exception. So you wanna get into the Fun thing. This, yeah, yeah we, we talked a little bit about that. Um, November's box has it all. It's got a lot of functional stuff. It's got parts. It's got necessities, the medical stuff. This thing is yeah, a little bit of function, but it's a lot of fun. And we were super excited to strike a deal yeah. with our buddy over here. Yeah, Chris at Gun Creed is a great guy. Absolutely. And we partnered up with him to bring this display stand uh, to the TAC pack. And I actually have, if you'll excuse me for one second, I actually have it mounted, oh. or not, I wouldn't say mounted, but a rifle mounted on top of it. Huh. So this is cool. If you have a room in your house where, you, you know, me personally, I have a gun room in my basement that's got a little island in the middle. 
and I have a few of my rifles showcased on these. This fits a, it was designed for the PMAG. We know that hex mags will fit as well. They're not quite as tight, but they still work just fine in it. And we've tried other mags that don't work. So some of your polymer mags will fit, some of them won't, but it was designed for the PMAG. And this is great for if you want to showcase your rifle and things of that nature. We thought it was a really nifty product. I haven't seen anything that's, that's not bulky, right? So this is not bulky like those big, long aluminum or del, you know, heavy Delrin plastic setups that you've seen before. This is nice and compact. It's very simple, very lightweight, and it looks really it looks really nice. So this is a way to showcase your rifle. And uh, you, we were kind of joking the other day, you know what else you could use this for is when you're at the range, if you have a suppressor on the front of your gun, instead of it burning the rubber or carpet, uh, you know, countertop that you're using and melting into the suppressor and making a nice little uh, cohesive unit there, this can help in avoiding that. You can set your rifle in it and obviously, most of the time, you're going to hang your suppressor off the front of said, um, you know, counter that you're working with. But this ensures that the suppressor doesn't contact anything, especially after you've done sick mag dumps and you're ready to let your your uh, can cool off. So uh, I can't I can't say it enough how much we appreciate Chris over at Gun Creed and his ingenuity and great to partner with. We've started sharing ideas about other things we want to you know, help bring to market and he's just been outstanding to work with. So we're really, really excited about this Gun Creed stand. And it's one of those nice little additions, right? Good showcase piece, you know, more of the, it's got great function, but it's the fashion, right? You got your gun, you could sit it out, you could buy more of these and, you know, really set it up in a way if you have a gun room or, you know, a safe room, you can put things on display. So when you walk into my room, got the island, got three guns sitting right there in these stands, kind of a cool showcase piece. All right, now to the most important piece of the box. Yeah. I'm gonna show you, it's burger time. That was kind of like it's turbo time from Jingle All The Way. He's obsessed with I am obsessed all with Jingle All The Way. I'm gonna bring it up to the camera. <laughs> now, you know, we all know that JR is the creator. That guy right there creates all the art for the stickers and tons of other things that we do and his work's incredible, and people shout him out all the time, so, you know, good job, JR. If you have the, we have the hot dog and the taco, you need the burger. We got a donut, too. And we have a donut. We have the donut operator sticker. That's right. All the food groups. All the food groups. <laughs> this is a flyer from Munitions Law Group. Locally here to us, Derek DeBras is like the known gun lawyer in our city, and he's incredible. So we included this flyer in case you want to get any of these services or needs done. Derek's done, my gun trust, and uh, a dozen other gun trusts and my friends. He does really amazing work. He is a literal wealth of knowledge. So we want to shout out Derek and the team over at Munitions Law Group. They are incredible. And there are lawyers for the business too. So we said, yeah, make a flyer. We'll put it in the box and maybe some people will use it, right? Like does a great job. So. Shout out to Munitions Law Group. Derek is a good, close, personal friend. Wears a lot of tweed, though. <laughs> Got, like, the tweed vest, the tweed jacket. The You know, it's a, it's a whole thing. It, all he needs is, like, a little pocket watch. <laughs> and so that's Munitions Law Group. He's got a YouTube channel, The Gun Lawyer. I the gun, mean, Is, is he The Gun Lawyer? He's The Gun Lawyer. There you so go. That's right. Is that, it's The Gun Lawyer. The that's gun right. Lawyer. So check him out there as well. But now on to a couple of really insanely awesome plus box items. Um, SOG TELUS, T-E-L-L-U-S. And this is a really thick, heavy duty, fixed blade knife. Here's one in the packaging. Here's the sample we actually got months ago in the sheath. I think the sheath is really nice too because you can situate this however you want. I have this sitting in my range bag in the center. Some range bags have the kind of that thick fabric center that you can pull out with ammo. I have mine sitting right down in there where this clip engages the inside of my range bag so I could grab it at a moment's notice if I need it, especially when going and shooting outdoors. I think it's a great thing when you have to kind of rig up some type of target stand or you have to use the elements around you to create the best possible way to uh, shoot and train. And so I keep this in my range bag and it's good to go. The other thing about it is these voids and these um, 
I want to say like rivets or or what's the other word for them? Holes. Holes. No, you know, like <laughs> grommets. It's got gr- go. it's got grommeted. Se- there you go. So it's got hello. grommets on. Hello. Uh, it's got grommets on the sheets so that you can make it work in whatever way you choose. Here's a little close up of the sheath. Okay. Really, really nice unit. You can customize it to any way that you want. And then if you pop that off, <laughs> you've got this insanely thick blade with some grip on top fits in the hand really really well we're really happy to bring this knife sog makes great products that are very affordable and very durable and this is no exception yeah um when we first got the sample you fell immediately in love you said get this thing in the tack pack i agree completely um just a couple quick things i love about it is this, there might be some debate here. It comes out of the sheath really easily. Yeah. yeah which yeah, yeah. I like. Some people are like, no, I don't want it to for accidental purposes or whatever. This thing just slides right out, slides right back in. Um, the other thing I like in particular is there is attention paid to the sheath and the sheath design. I yes. feel like a lot of knives out there... They just come with a sheath because the manufacturer, the designer thought, well, it needs a sheath. Yeah. So here's just, it's an afterthought. This feels like the sheath design was at the forefront of the decision making. I agree 100%. Here, to that point, that's an excellent point. Sometimes when I'm putting a, a knife back in a sheath, I feel like it's going to split or the blade's going to come out of the bottom. And so I, I think conscientiously about when I'm resheathing the knife, and this is not that case. It's got a really tactile click, and it's in. And to pull it out, it just comes right out. It's awesome that they have that little textured yeah. 45 on the top. You just press your thumb against that, and it pushes right out. I don't have any worries about having an accident while pulling this from or putting this in the sheath. And I think they, you're right, I think this was the basis of the design of the oh, knife. Yeah. And I think they did a really great job. Yeah. So when we saw it, like I said, it's got to go in. Yeah, we're huge SOG fanboys. Um, we love partnering with them. Oh, yeah. Heck, I got like a dozen of their tomahawks at home. Yeah, you do. That, yeah. Where are the tomahawks? They're at JR's house. Not a psycho, I promise. And in JR's woods because he has a <laughs> he has a uh, axe throwing set up in his backyard. That's right. And the, the woods, you know, if you want a free SOG tomahawk, come to JR's house. <laughs> if you just... Rifle through the woods and the leaves. Stroll out back. Stroll out back. You'll find at least two or three that you could claim. Uh, they've been there for years. The ones that he can't find because he throws so hard. Um, but yeah, that is, they make great products, especially at a price point, and we couldn't be happier to be partnered with them. What else? What what else is in this pack? We've got, we've got one mm. more item, the plus box item. You know, when people were emailing, hey, I want to sign up for the November tag pack, and I have some hints. The hint I gave, I said, there's something for the back of your gun, and there's something for the front of your gun. <laughs> That's really good. That's a good hint, right? Yeah. It's not giving away everything. So here's the thing for the front of your gun. Yeah, from butts to brakes. <laughs> That's right. So you might want to edit that out. I'm not sure. But yeah. it was pretty witty. I like it. All right, so the BCM Mod Zero uh, Compensator up front, we actually have it on uh, one of our guns here. So really excited to bring BCM to the box. First time ever. First time ever. Yeah. Really, really jazzed about that. And the Mod Zero is an insanely useful uh, compensator. And so I'm going to bring it up to the camera real quick and show you. But just look at the fit and finish and design of this thing. It's quite incredible. There you go. BCM Mod Zero. Really nice unit. And look out for more amazing parts from BCM in the future coming to the TAC pack. We are elated to be teamed up with them to bring awesome things to the box. So there you have it. Those are the highlights of the November TAC pack plus. I gotta tell you, it's probably my favorite box this year because of the wide range of things that you have from medical to the knife, to the gun parts, to the gun creed stand so you can show off a little bit. Um, all these products are incredible and the value was there. Yeah. I mean, you paid less than half of what these products go for from an MSRP standpoint. And uh, December is no exception. December is no exception, man. Um, 
November is your favorite box of the year. December coming up. I'm super stoked about this one. Uh, $240 value in the plus version. Again, the plus box has two extra items on top of five items in the standard box version. Yeah. Plus box, seven total items, four brand new companies we've never worked That's with. That's insane. So it's cool. We, we, had, we introduced Bravo, company in the November box. Yeah. And then we're bringing in four companies in December. So we're getting all these new partnerships we're really excited about. The two plus box items in December. The way they go together is yeah. insane. They are two pieces that you would use together. And I think it will revolutionize the way that you um, train and and use your setup or your kit. Uh, really, really excited about the plus box. You're right. I mean, that is without I, giving away too much. Yeah, I can't. We're yeah, if we say anything it. more, we'll give it away. <laughs> but like, even just the the practicality and the use of this and the videos out there on how folks train with this and set this up is really, really incredible. Um, so you've got about a week left to get in before the end of November to get the December plus box. If you're not already subscribed to TAC Pack, go do it now. Um, the other thing is the Christmas box is sold out. Sold out. It's sold out. This is, you know, these one-off boxes, the Glock box, the Christmas box, the Patriot pack, which sold out in four hours, are JR's designs. He designs the boxes and he does an incredible job. And so by the time you see this video, there'll be about seven, eight days left in the month but then on what would be Black Friday, JR is also launching the Red, White, and Blue Friday, which is another box that is a one-off box that is just insane and amazing. I don't know if you want to talk about that. Yeah, basically, just a few quick things. Um, each monthly box keeps selling out before the end of the month. September sold out, October, November sold out. So definitely get in and sign up in time for the December box. Separately, the Christmas box sold out early yeah. again. Yeah, we like thought we'd said, have like another three or four. I mean, weeks, yeah. we've been screaming from the rooftops, guys, you gotta get a Christmas box, they will sell out. I know it sounds like a goofy sales tactic. No, it's the truth, they sell out so quick. So, since it sold out, we thought, well, let's let's cook something up for the folks. That's where the, the idea came for something for Black Friday. And the idea is, forget the standard Black Friday deals, it's usually like deals for like overseas crap at yeah. real low prices and you gotta get up at 5 a.m. and go to the big box store and get something that's gonna break in a week. Let's do, let's do something that we're proud of, quality, American made. So instead of a Black Friday box, the red, white, and blue Friday box it is packed with all the hard goods inside are American made. We've got stuff from Mission First Tactical, kind of a twofer that works mm -hmm. together in, in tandem really well from them. We've got something from Gerber. They have a, they have a line of American-made goods. Um, the thing from them is freaking. It's amazing. I'm stealing one. Uh, I know. <laughs> you knew that already. Um, there's going to be a standard version, a plus version. Once again, something from our, our great friends at Battle Arms Development. Um, a, a rifle part with a $160 value yeah. as the plus box version for this red, white, and blue Friday box. Um, yeah, they're going to go live on Black Friday. Maybe we'll kick it off a little early. Yeah. You got to be on our email list. Yeah. To, and it's, a again, a very limited supply. I assume it will sell out in less than a week. That's yeah, my guess. Probably. Um, we could only get a very limited amount of product to build these boxes for you because everyone this time of the year, it's hard to source. Yeah. So very small quantity, very high value. If you haven't treated someone you know who loves 2A gear, survival gear, just cool shit all around, and you need to get a gift for them, or if you want to just get a gift for yourself, stay tuned for the red, white, and blue Friday box. Yeah. Thanks for joining us as always. We want to see in your comments the parts you like, some things. If you're not feeling them, we want to know. We want all the feedback. And we want to know what else you want to see in the future boxes. We are planned through 
about half the year. We do all our planning in the fourth quarter. So there's still time in the later part of next year to get more things in the box. But we try to stay planned about six, seven months ahead. And we're doing our 2024 planning right now. So if you have a company you want to refer us, let us know. We're always looking for new products. We always want to bring you know, some great things to the TACPAC subscriber community. And uh, with your, with the huge number of subscribers that we have, that allows us to get really great pricing so that we can constantly bring amazing value to the box. Thanks so much. Talk, Talk soon. soon. That's his thing. He says that all the time. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Right. Happy holidays. This is, this is the best time of year. It really is. I love it. I love it. Let's do a video talking about Christmas.